Hello and welcome to another episode of today's GK. I am Pooja Devedi and in this segment we bring to you objective questions on a daily basis to help you crack prelims. So let's begin with the practice question of last segment. In which of the following applications genetically modified techniques are used? Biological and medical research, production of pharmaceutical drugs, experimental medicine, agriculture to produce biofuels. So select the correct answer using the following codes 1, 3 and 4 only. 2, 3 and 5 only, 1, 3, 4 and 5 only and 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So genetically modified technology, this particular te technology is used to modify the DNA of an organism. So if we talk about it, yes, it is very important for biological and medical research. Any sort of outcome if we expect due to genetic modification, we should also say that production of pharmaceutical drugs, of course, are under the ambit of it. And so is experimental medicine, also agriculture, as we know about BT cotton, and also to produce biofuels. So, all are correct. The correct answer to this question would be D1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. FSSAI issued an order on February 8th setting the permissible limits for GM organisms in imported food crops at 1%, and genetic modification is done to induce a desirable new trait which does not occur naturally in the species. GM techniques are used in biological and medical research, production of pharmaceutical drugs and experimental medicine, agriculture and genetically modified bacteria to produce the protein insulin to produce biofuels from some GM bacteria. So all the options are correct. Moving on to the next question. Consider the following statements about satras. Satras in Assam are the Vaishnavite monasteries which were established to propagate neo vaishnavism Satras promulgate Shankara Deva's unique worship through art approach with music, dance and theatre. Which of the statements given above is or are correct? One only, two only, both one and two, neither one nor two. So both the statements if we know about Satras are correct. The correct answer would be C, both one and two. Satras and Assam are the Vaishnavite monasteries which were established to propagate neo Vaishnavism. These institutions were created in the first part of the 16th century by Vaishnavite saint reformer Srimanta Shankaradev from 1449 to 1596. Satras promulgate Deva's unique worship through art, approach with music, dance and theatre. So music is known as Borgit, dance Satriya and theatre is known as Bhana. Moving on, each satra has a namghar or worship hall as it, its nucleus and is headed by an influential satra dhikar. Moving on to the next question, which of the following countries share borders with Paraguay, Bolivia, Uruguay, Brazil, Argentina, Peru. So you have to select the correct answer using the following codes 1, 3 and 4 only, 2, 3 and 5 only. 1, 3, 4 and 5 only, 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5. So if we talk about Paraguay, it is a very small country which is landlocked and it does not share its borders with the sea. So the correct answer to this question is Brazil. Yes, Brazil is a part of it. Also Bolivia. Bolivia shares borders with Paraguay and of course if we talk about Argentina, it is also included. So the correct answer to this question is 1, 3 and 4. A. As you can see in the map, Bolivia, Brazil and Argentina, it has encircled Paraguay. Paraguay and if we talk about Paraguay, Paraguay is bounded by the country of Bolivia in the northwest and the north and Brazil in the northeast and east and Argentina to, to the southeast, south and west. Now consider the following statements about special drawing rights. The SDR is an international reserve asset created by the World Bank to supplement its member country's official reserves and the value of SDR is calculated from a weighted basket of major currencies including the US dollar, Euro, Japanese yen, Chinese yuan and Indian rupees. So let's look at the options. One only you have to choose the option which is the statement which is incorrect. So one only, two only, both one and two, neither one nor two. So if we talk about the first statement, the first statement is saying that it's an international reserve asset that is correct, created by the World Bank. But no, it is created by the International Monetary Fund or the 
IMF precisely. So that's incorrect. The second statement has said that the weighted basket constitutes the currency of the given countries, the US dollar, euro, Japanese yen, Chinese and even the Indian rupee. But Indian rupee is not a part of the basket. So the second statement is also incorrect. Correct answer to this question would be C because you had to choose the incorrect statements. Both 1 and 2 are incorrect. And the SDR is an international reserve asset created by the IMF in 1969 to supplement its member countries' official reserves. The SDR is neither a currency nor a claim on the IMF. Rather, it is a potential claim on the freely usable currencies of IMF members. The value of the SDR is actually calculated from a weighted basket of major currencies including the US dollar, the euro, Japanese yen, Chinese yuan and British pound and it does not include the Indian rupee. Consider the following statements with respect to rare diseases. A rare disease is also referred to as an orphan disease affecting a small percentage of the population and most of the rare diseases are non-genetic in nature. So which of the statements given above is or are incorrect? One only, two only, both one and two, neither one nor two. So if we talk about the first statement, the first statement stands correct that it is also referred to as an orphan disease which is affecting a very small proportion of the population. But the second statement is saying that these diseases are non-genetic in nature. But these are actually genetic in nature. So majority of them being genetic in nature makes the second statement incorrect. Now, so the second statement being incorrect, the correct option would be B. A rare disease which is also called an orphan disease is a health condition of low prevalence that affects a small number of people compared with other prevalent diseases in general population. And there are many different causes of rare diseases. The majority are thought to be genetic directly caused by changes in genes or chromosomes. So it stands incorrect and the most common rare diseases identified in India are hemophilia, thalassemia, sickle cell anemia, primary immunodeficiency, lysosomal storage disorders. Moving on to our next question, consider the following statements about submission on agroforestry scheme. The scheme is being implemented by the Department of Agriculture cooperation and farmers welfare and at present the scheme is implemented only in the states having liberalized transit regulations for the transport of timber which of the statements given above is or are correct one only two only both one and two neither one or two so if we talk about the first statement and the second statement both the statements are correct the correct answer to this question would be both one and two that is option c the Department of Agriculture, Cooperation and Farmers Welfare has been implementing the SMAF since 2016 and 17 as part of the recommendation of National Agroforestry Policy 2014 and the scheme aims to encourage farmers to plant multi-purpose trees together with the agriculture crops for climate resilience, provide additional source of income to the farmers as well as enhanced feedstock to enter area wood based and herbal industry and the scheme is implemented only in the states having liberalized transit regulations of, for the transport of timber and will be extended to other states as and when such relaxations are notified by them. Moving on to the next question, consider the following statements about overseas citizen of India and OCI as a person who was a citizen of India on or after 26th of January 1950. The Government of India via the Citizenship Amendment Act of 2015 merged the PIO that is Person of Indian Origin category with OCI category in 2015. Which of the statements given above is or are correct? One only, two only, both one and two, neither one or two. So if we look at the first statement, yes the first statement is correct that an OCI has been defined as a person who was a citizen of India on or after 26th of January 1950 and via the Citizenship Amendment Act of 2015, the category of OCI was merged with the category of Person of Indian Origin. So the second statement is also correct. So the correct answer would be option C. Recently, the government has notified a consolidated list of rights of the overseas citizen of India 
if we talk about OCI, the Ministry of Home Affairs defines an OCI as a person who was a citizen of India on or after 26th of January 1950 or was eligible to become a citizen of India on 26th January 1950 or is a child or grandchild of such a person among other eligibility criteria and the Government of India via the Citizenship Amendment Act of 2015 merged the PIO category with OCI category in 2015. Moving on to the next question, consider the following statements about equine herpes virus. Equine herpes virus is a common DNA virus that occurs in bat populations worldwide and this strain can also called can also cause beg your pardon neurological problems leading to paralysis. So which of the statements given above is or are correct? One only, two only, both one and two, neither one nor two. If we talk about the equine herpes virus, this is a common DNA virus, that is correct and it occurs in horses and not bats. So the first statement stands incorrect. The second statement is correct because it causes neurological problems such as which leads to paralysis. So the second statement is correct. The answer would be option B. Two only. Recently there has been an outbreak of equine herpes virus CHV1 among horses in Europe. So far, seven countries have confirmed EHV1 cases from Spain, Belgium, France, Germany, Italy, Sweden and Qatar. Equine herpes virus is a common DNA virus that occurs in horse populations worldwide and EHV is a family of viruses which are named by numbers such as EHV1, 2, 3, 4 and 5 and there are more viruses in this family but EHV1, 3 and 4 pose the most serious health risks for domestic horses. EHV1 can cause manifestations of diseases in horses including respiratory disease, abortion and neonatal death. The strain can also cause neurological problems leading to paralysis and in some cases death. Horses that contract the virus can develop a lack of coordination, weakness, loss of appetite and are unable to stand. It is contagious and spread by direct horse to horse contact via the respiratory tract through nasal secretions and the virus can also be spread indirectly through contact with physical objects that are contaminated with the virus. Now comes the Beijing Declaration. The Beijing Declaration is related to which of the following issues? Intellectual property rights, bonded labor, child protection, women empowerment. So if we talk about the Beijing Declaration, it is actually related to women empowerment. Let's move on to the explanation. The International Women's Day is celebrated on March 8. The Beijing Declaration is an agenda for women's empowerment and considered the key global policy document on gender equality. It sets strategic objectives and actions for the advancement of women and the achievement of gender equality in 12 critical areas of concern like women and health, women in power and decision making, the girl child, women and the environment. Moving on to our next question, consider the following crops, mulberry, oak, tussar, muga, eri. Which of the crops given above are varieties of silk, 1, 2 and 3 only, 2, 3 and 4 only, 1, 3 and 5 only or all of the above. So actually if we know about the silk from India, they are muga, tussar and eri. But do we know mulberry is also a silk and oak is also a type of silk. So the correct answer would be D. All of the above. There are five major types of silk of commercial importance obtained from different species of silkworms. Mulberry, oak, tussar and tropical tussar, muga and eri. Except for mulberry, other non-mulberry varieties of silk are wild silks known as vanya silks. India has the unique distinction of producing all these commercial varieties of silk and South India is the leading silk producing areas of the country and is also known for its famous silk weaving enclaves like Kanchipuram, Dharmavaram and Arni. Moving on to the next question, MSME Credit Health Index was launched by Ministry of Statistics and Program Implementation, Ministry of Finance, Niti Ayog and Nabad. So, 
it is as it is related to statistics right because it is an index which is related to the performance of msmes so the question answer to this question will be ministry of statistics and program implementation moving on to the explanation the trans union sibil is a partnership with the ministry of statistics and program implementation it has launched msme credit health index the index is published quarterly and the index measures the credit health of india's msme sectors on two parameters that is growth and strength let's move on to our practice question for our next segment consider the following statements about miyawaki technique it is an afforestation method the technique compresses layers of a forest on small plots of land turning them into tiny forests so which of the statements given above is or are correct one only two only both one and two neither one nor two I hope you'll be able to answer it correctly in the comment segment. That's it for today. Tomorrow we shall meet again with another segment. Until then, stay updated and thank you so much for watching.